Alright, so I've had a few requests to show how to set up the privacy codes on these Midland GXT1000 handheld radios. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to show you the physical how to do it in the menu, how to set it up. That way we can get that right up front and you can head out if that's all you want to see. Stick around at the end. I want to give you a cautionary tale on, on using these quote privacy codes. They're not all that private but they are still very useful and I'll explain a little more about the two different types of uh, codes you're gonna you're about to see in here so without further ado I'll go ahead and turn both of these handhelds on first thing make sure you have them set to the same channel here I'm gonna use channel 14 now this only works these codes only work uh, for channels 1 through 22 so set your channel hit the menu button three times one two three you can see I have the channel and OF displayed for off hit the up arrow you can see there's one type CTCSS hit it again you can go with the DCS once you pick which one of those you're going to use hit the menu button again then you can pick your privacy code for DCS there's a hundred and four to choose from so this will go 1 through 104 uh, for the CTCSS there's 38 of those I'll just stop at 13 here once you pick it hit that push to talk button over there and uh, it sets it in now you need to set your other radio to it because the way these work is both have to be set to it for it to squelch out all the other background radios right now this radio in my left hand it will hear everything my right hand transmits but left if I transmit with my left hand held my right one will not unsquelch because it's not receiving that 13 code so let me just kinda demo that real fast and then we'll set it and I'll show you that WREX 542 doing a equipment check Now I'm going to transmit with this one. Equipment check with the handheld two. You can see the one with the code set did not hear the one without the code set. So let's fix that little situation here. Three times in the menu button. Scroll up. We were on DCS for digital coded squelch. And hit it again. And what were we on? 13. 13. There we go. And lock it in. Now we should be good to go. We'll try that again. WREX 542. Signing out. There we go. That's how that works. So this kind of leads me into. Uh, I'll, I'll do the cautionary tale here real quick they call them privacy codes but it's not really private it's an illusion of privacy so basically these two radios are only going to hear each other right now well they'll hear everything but they're only going to unsquelch and let you hear what what the other ones transmitting because it matches up with the privacy code 13 on channel 14 however as you saw earlier if someone just has 14 open to all everything they will still hear what you're transmitting so this isn't like use it in some secret mission type of thing where this comes in handy is if you have like a big uh, group of people let's say you're going hiking or something you have two different parties you guys can you know basically set up different privacy codes and it will block out the rest of the transmissions and you will only hear each other uh, like you're at a busy campground you're getting a lot of um, communications from other people on the same your favorite channel set up your privacy codes you uh, eliminate them so it's more pleasant experience for you however they can still hear you uh, transmitting if they have their just set to channel 14 and it's all open so hopefully I've explained that well um, the difference in the uh, CTCSS that is continuous tone coded squelch system it's basically the analog version it's like uh, having someone having just like a uh, a transmission at all times in the background analog style basically 
and then digital coated squelch which is what I set up on there's more of those and it's basically sending a little uh, digital data or like a code word to the other one saying hey listen to me so that's how that works and it let me know Com po post up down below do you use these do you use the uh, privacy settings um, you know let me know down below what do you think thanks for watching boom